Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install the Lightmatica mod in Minecraft 1.17. I know it says 1.16 here, but this is for 1.17 and I can't add this video here until this one is live, so do keep that in mind. Nevertheless, though, we're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up Lightmatica so you can get schematics in Minecraft 1.17. Schematics for everything from awesome builds to, you know, being able to copy builds from another place and paste them in another place. You can do so much with Schematic. It's one of the best, in my opinion, mods out there for, like, being able to build and build things quickly and things like that. So that's why we're going to be doing a video on it here today. Plus, it's something you all want and to ask for all the time. As soon as we can get it out, we usually do. First and most, though, we do have a support sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much, we host our own server, playdoutbreakdowncraft.com on them, so if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get Lightmatic up and running in Minecraft. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is going to be the Lightmatic text tutorial that kind of walks you through the step-by-step -step process of getting Lightmatic in text format. Sometimes they say we go too fast in videos, so we have this here for you if you want it. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this yellow download Lightmatic video. When we click on that, it takes us off to Lightmatic. Matica's download page, where we're going to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.17. Under that, we see Lightmatica Fabric, and we want to go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that file. That'll take us off where the download will begin, and after a few seconds, the download will begin in the bottom left. Let's wait for it. There it is, and in the bottom left, Fabric is downloading. We'll need to keep this file or save this file depending on your browser. It's 100% safe to keep the file, though. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download the Mala Lib. This is the, basically, compatibility mod, if you will for Lightmatica, and you can find this in the description down below. We do have a dedicated tutorial for this, but when you're here, let's go ahead and click on this yellow download button. That'll take us to MyLibs download page, where we can then come over here to the right-hand side again, scroll down until we see the 1.17 version, and click the orange download button to the right of that. Again, after a few seconds, the download will begin for Minecraft 1.17, where we will need to keep or save the file in the bottom left. As you can see, we need to keep it in the bottom left, or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, there's one more thing we need to download, and that is Fabric itself. This is the mod loader that's going to allow Lightmatica to actually run in Minecraft, right? So we need to go ahead and download that. So you can find this again in the description down below. I believe it's the fourth link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is, a, again, the Fabric download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Install universal slash dot jar. Again, that's download installer universal slash dot jar. When you click on that, it's going to download Fabric in the bottom left. As you can see, Fabric installer, and just like everything else, you need to keep or save the file depending on our browser. And again, you can save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we have the Mala Lib, which is the compatibility mod. We have Lightmatica, and we have the Fabric installer. Now, if these little icons look different for you, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So how do you fix that? Well, we're going to first see if we can open up the Fabric installer without fixing it. To do that, go ahead and right click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or it doesn't open up Java, or if these logos are just wrong and it bothers you so much you want to change them, you need to fix them, even if you can open up the Fabric Installer, here's what you need to do. Go to the description down below and go here. This is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Java for Minecraft servers and mods. Like Matica being a Minecraft mod, you need this version of Java, and it walks you through. It's a very easy three-step process. Now, at that point, you should be able to open up Fabric with Forge. However, your icons still may be broken. If that's the case, you need the jar fix to fix that. You can find this in the description down below. Again, it's another three-step tutorial that will get things fixed and running for you. Now, though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on desktop, we do have Fabric. So again, we want to right-click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer here, where we just want to make sure Minecraft 1.17 is the version that's selected there. We also want to make sure Create Profile, that little box is checked, and then click on Install. It's then going to quickly install Fabric, and it's going to say Fabric Loader install from 1.17, and then go ahead and click OK. It's then going to go ahead and close out of that little dialog box, but we need to click the X here to close out of the Fabric installer, and then we can delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now let's get Lightmatica installed. Now to do this, we actually want to go ahead and click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Run. You'll have this Run app here. Click on that Run app, and then in this Run app, we want to type percent sign, app data percent sign, percent, app data percent, exactly like that. So percent sign, APP, DATA, percent sign, and hit enter. 
That's then gonna open up the roaming folder here where we have a dot Minecraft folder. Open up that and then in here you should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder though in the dot Minecraft folder, right when you get into roaming, click on dot Minecraft. If you don't have a mods folder in here, what you wanna do is come over here to the right hand side, click on right click, create a new folder. So right click, create a new folder and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open up your newly created mods folder. Then we wanna take Blackmatica and the Molly Lib and drag these into your mods folder, right like so. Now we can go ahead, close out of this mods folder, and we can actually delete these from your desktop if they are still there. Now we wanna open up the Minecraft launcher, and before you slap that play button, hold up, slow down, what we wanna do is make sure we have the fabric profile selected. To do that, you wanna click on this little arrow here, and then select fabric loader 1.17. Now if you don't have fabric loader here, or if you do, and for whatever reason it doesn't say 1.17, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and click on installations up here at the top and then first and foremost make sure this little modded box is checked in the top right. You can see if I deselect it, fabric disappears, reselect it, there it is. Now if you still don't see fabric, what we need to do is create a new installation. So go ahead and click on new installation here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well I'm going to name it that because that's our own incredible 1.17 grief protected survival server. We've also got custom skyblock. It's truly incredible. You will love it. So go and play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for the version drop down box, you want to click on this and then you want to find a Release fabric right here, as you can see, release fabric loader, and then it says 1.17 at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then for our resolution, I'm gonna go ahead and change that. You don't have to change your resolution, but I'm just doing it because, uh, well, you want to be able to see once we get in game. Finally, I can click create in the bottom right, and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, it says fabric dash loader under it and 1.17. Now we want to go ahead and click on the green play button over here on the right hand side. You're just gonna Open up this pop-up box, go ahead and click you understand the risk. Basically, all this is saying is, hey, you're about to play a modified version of Minecraft, is that okay? And yes, it is, because you were using this tutorial and you want to get Lightmatica, so you unfortunately have to play modded Minecraft, so that's what we're doing. Go ahead and click the green play button, and now Minecraft 1.17 will open up with Lightmatica installed. I do want to apologize for any lag that occurs during this open process if it's like cuts my voice in and out but i like to run this all through and unfortunately my computer does have some lag issues these days the cpu likes to uh, jump to a hundred percent whenever i uh do anything pretty much so anyway here we are just waiting until this is open and then once this is open we will then be able to jump into uh jump into seeing Lightmatica actually in Minecraft. So here we are opening Minecraft. I did end up doing a little jump cut there, but nonetheless, here we are. We go and click on single player. Now you do see fabric in the bottom left there. One of the things I believe you can do as well is go to options, control settings, scroll all the way down. And I was wondering if we did have Lightmatica in here. It does not look like we do. That's not the end of the world, but I was, uh, I do wonder if you can change the keyboard settings. Now let's go ahead and create a new world. We're gonna name this Lightmatica. Right, like so, make it creative and then create the world. I will see you after a quick jump cut once we're in game with Lightmatica installed. So here we are in game and we can go ahead and press M to open up the menu for Lightmatica. We can do M plus C and open up all the configs by the way. So again, that was the M key on our keyboard to open up this menu and M plus C at the same time, holding them both down at the same time to open up this config where you can change a bunch of stuff. Now, one thing I will say is this isn't a tutorial as much on how to use Schematica as it is to how to install it. There is a lot of features in this mod in this video would stretch on well past the 20, 30, 40 minute mark if I went through every single individual feature. One thing I will mention though is the menu here is where most of the things can be done. You can, for example, go into schematic placements here and change those. One thing I also want to mention is you can go into load schematics and click on this plus folder to create new directories in your schematics files. Now you might be like, how do you get to schematics files? Well, let's create a new directory here. We're going to do test, for example, this is a good name, I think. And then we can go up. You can see this directory is now there. Now, how do you get to your directories menu? Well, you're going to do this by, if we zoom back out here, we're going to go up to the uh, little windows icon on the top left again. We're going to go to run again. We're going to go to percent app data percent again. And then once we're in percent app data percent, we're going to again go into dot Minecraft. Then we're going to scroll down until we see schematics right here. If we click on that, there's that test folder. Any schematics you want to install are just going to be dragged and dropped into here. Schematics are files that end in dot skim and will usually be gotten from different Minecraft websites out there. Drag and drop these into the schematics folder here and you'll see them appear in game and can load them as such, right? So basically you click on it and then click load schematic and you'll be good. It won't say none are selected there. And then you can go ahead and place the schematic in game and do all sorts of other stuff. Creating schematics is also possible. And I believe you can do that with the area editor, but I'm not honestly too certain. I'm not the best again with this. Um, you can change the tool mode, for example, and I think we can 
Let's see, delete, rebuild schematic, area, oh, area selection, there it was. And I believe with that, we can start doing area selection and creating schematics and different things like that. So nonetheless, it is quite a mod to learn and uh, there are dedicated videos on the mod page on how to do that. But now you do know how to install it in Minecraft 1.17. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, enjoy Lightmatica, and I am out. Peace.